Have you ever imagined what it would be like to live through the days of Noah when the heavens themselves unleashed their formidable fury and the earth was consumed by the great deluge? Picture it. The waters rising, surging forth with unstoppable force, swallowing everything in their relentless path. What must it have felt like, amid such a cataclysmic event, to witness a display of divine judgment so profound and overwhelming? The sky darkened, the rains poured incessantly, and the very foundation of the world seemed to tremble beneath the weight of celestial wrath. Good day, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I bring before you a prophetic dream, a vision granted to Vika, one of the visionaries, that resonates with the echoes of those ancient warnings. This vision serves as a mirror to the past, reflecting the gravity and urgency of divine messages from days gone by. As we delve into this revelation, let us heed the lessons of history and prepare our hearts and souls for the truths it conveys. The following prophetic dream carries a grave and urgent message for our times, particularly for those in the United States. The Lord, in His infinite mercy, has revealed this vision as both a warning and a call to spiritual and physical preparation. In the vision, Vika found herself standing at the edge of a vast, tumultuous ocean, a scene of both awe and dread. The waves, towering like giants, roared and crashed against the shore with a ferocity that shook the very bones of the earth. Each wave seemed to rise with an unstoppable force, slamming into the land with a thunderous impact that reverberated through the ground. As Vika gazed out over the tumultuous expanse, her eyes were drawn to the horizon where a great storm was brewing. Dark, swirling clouds coalesced in the sky, their churning masses blotting out the sun and casting the world into a deep, unnatural darkness that swallowed all light and hope. The winds howled and screamed, their voices blending into a cacophony like a thousand trumpets blaring in unison. The sea churned with an intensity that seemed to surge from the very depths of the abyss, its fury a primal force that defied understanding. As the storm drew nearer, its menacing approach seemed to distort the very fabric of reality. Vika was then shown a vision of the United States, and what she saw was nothing short of apocalyptic. The states of Florida, Texas, and Louisiana were caught in the storm's merciless grip. The relentless winds howled with unrestrained power, tearing through the land like a beast unleashed. Torrential rains battered the regions with such intensity that it felt as though the heavens themselves were weeping tears of fury. The force of the storm was so overwhelming that it tore buildings from their foundations as if they were mere toys, uprooted ancient trees as if they were saplings, and caused rivers to overflow their banks, unleashing torrents that inundated entire cities. The scale of devastation was unprecedented a true manifestation of nature's wrath, a display of power and destruction that surpassed any previous calamity known to mankind. The vision left an indelible mark on Vika's soul, a solemn reminder of the peril that looms and the urgent need for vigilance and prayer. In the midst of this overwhelming devastation, Vika witnessed countless souls crying out for help, their anguished voices rising in a collective lamentation that seemed to pierce the heavens. The sound of their cries was both heartrending and desperate, a mournful chorus that echoed through the tempest. Yet, even amidst such profound chaos and sorrow, she beheld a small, steadfast remnant of faithful souls. These individuals were seen kneeling in earnest prayer, their hands clasped tightly around their rosaries as if they were lifelines amidst the storm's fury. They were the ones who had heeded the divine warnings and had prepared themselves both spiritually and physically for the trials ahead. Their prayers ascended like fragrant incense to the very throne of God, rising above the storm's ferocity. Despite the raging tempest that encircled them, these faithful souls were enveloped in a divine light, otherworldly protection that no darkness could ever penetrate or diminish. Their steadfastness and devotion rendered them impervious to the storm's destructive force, a testament to the profound power of faith and prayer in the face of overwhelming adversity. The vision then shifted to a scene of the celestial realm. Vika beheld the majestic gates of heaven, standing wide and glorious, beyond which radiated a brilliant and awe-inspiring light emanating directly from the throne of God. The light was pure and resplendent, 
casting a divine glow that illuminated the entire expanse of heaven. Amidst this celestial splendor, she heard the voice of the Blessed Virgin Mary, a voice that was gentle yet resounded with profound authority, cutting through the divine radiance to reach the ears of the faithful on earth. My dear children, the Blessed Mother called out with a tone of both compassion and urgency. The time of trials is upon you. The storms you witness are but a forewarning of the greater tribulations that will precede the coming of my Son. The earth groans under the weight of sin, and nature itself rebels against the iniquity of man. These storms are a sign, a final and urgent call to repentance and conversion before the great and terrible day of the Lord. In a gesture both solemn and tender, Vika then saw the Blessed Virgin extending her hands, and in them were a rosary and a small loaf of bread. The rosary gleamed with a sacred light, while the loaf of bread symbolized sustenance and spiritual nourishment. Pray, my children, and fast, she implored with heartfelt earnestness. Stock up on food and water, for there will come a time when these necessities will become scarce. Seek refuge not only within the safety of your homes, but in the refuge of my Immaculate Heart. It is there, in the sanctuary of my heart, that you will find the protection and solace needed to withstand the trials ahead. Prepare your souls, for the time is short. The second coming of my Son is near, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. The vision ended with Vika standing once again on the shore, watching as the storm finally passed. In its wake, the land was ravaged, but those who had placed their trust in God were spared. They emerged from their shelters, weary but unharmed, and began to rebuild, guided by the light of Christ that shone ever brighter in the darkness of the world. Beloved, this vision is a clear and urgent call to prepare for what is to come. The storms we face now, like Tropical Storm Ernesto, are but a foretaste of the greater trials that lie ahead. Do not delay in turning to the Lord with all your heart. Stock up on food and water. But more importantly, fill your hearts with the grace that comes from prayer, the sacraments, and devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us not be found unprepared when the Lord returns. Let us stand firm in faith, trusting in His divine providence, and ready to face whatever may come with the confidence that our God is with us now and always. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, seeking your boundless mercy and protection. In these challenging times, we ask you to shield us from the coming storm. Grant us the strength to face adversity with unwavering faith. Amidst the winds and rains, let our faith shine brightly as our guiding light. We pray for your mercy and the grace to live according to your call for repentance and renewal. Protect our families, communities, and all your children from harm. We trust in your providence and prepare our hearts for the second coming of your Son. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, grant us the strength and protection we need. In your holy name we pray. Amen.